I suppose this is a concepts conversation about the word peer, P-E-E-R. Peer is an interesting word. One of the big uh, items in network communications is peer-to-peer communications. And in trusted, secure peer-to-peer communications and what the meaning and definition and how you would go about establishing communications peer-to-peer protocols. How do they talk to each other in a network environment? Is that peer-to-peer relationship supposed to be secret or public? Is it a matter of corporate record or public record or internet record? So the peer-to-peer idea, very strong one, very big one. In a room full of network engineers, you could spend weeks talking about peer-to-peer relationships and network communications and the protocols involved and whether IPv4 or IPv6 is implemented and how to bridge those two until it is fully implemented. And that conversation goes on for, oh, about a decade or two right now on that IPv6 thing because this is how long planned calculated things happen and build the future so peer-to-peer network relationships in ipv6 would be a uh, couple of folks dozens of folks with degrees and with knowledge and maybe not degrees who knows who's in that conversation let's hope they're smart people though So that's network communications. I bring up IPv6 because when it's fully implemented, it will have location identification built into a network protocol that is above what you're aware of in common day conversations. So, because it's complicated, another video. So this idea of peer-to-peer relationships formed in network communications was created through peer-to-peer relationships of humans professional organizations working within each other and with each other, a standards organization trying to say, okay, this is a new standard we're going to introduce and roll out to the planet. These are internet decisions. Internet decisions are planetary effective decisions at this point. So this is why the China conversation about Chinese electronics in our telecommunication systems is so important or not important, depending upon which 7-Eleven you might go shopping at in the neighborhood you live in. So these peer relationships exist out there. They are all over the place. They are professional relationships to professionals. They're not friendships. They're not trusted bonds. They're facts that the background of these people and the very specific fields of endeavor they work in require the, these things. It goes back to the Manhattan Project and the Defense Agency Research Project, whatever, DARPA, building the internet. It was created for communications that helped to develop our nuclear arsenal. It was only through enabling those communications we made great advances because Minds think alike. Small minds, medium, large, extra large minds. Mostly, kind of, a little bit. Within human constraints, right? Whatever the boundary of human being human is. So there's a peer relationship. These are people you have no other association with other than is this network going to turn on in two weeks? Have we tested every angle we can think of that the salesman neglected to inform us of? Are our network monitoring staff, two or three people, probably not at that facility or site or wherever we're talking about, but they're off in the distance managing and monitoring networks. Might be six people or, or six half people for a total of three people. This is the world of uh, full-time equivalent staffing where the role is do this, I don't care who does it, they have to be capable of doing it. So, wow, I'm almost at six minutes on a uh, four-year 
<laughs> course. <laughs> pieces. Little pieces out.